Today, the Pilbara mining region in Western Australia looks like this. In some areas, there are mines. In others, a natural ecosystem with water at its heart. Mining and the environment coexist. But to what degree? And for how long? Are there any trade-offs? My PhD helps to answer these questions. Mining generates huge advantage for us as Australians. It provides us with materials we need to live, contributes around 8% to our GDP, and directly employs more than 200,000 people. Yet, it's undeniable that it changes the landscape. One key aspect it changes is called groundwater. And as a hydrogeologist, I study the quality and quantity of this water. Groundwater is water stored under the ground, between grains of sand and in the cracks, in rocks. The earth is a big sponge, and when it rains, water soaks into the ground. Groundwater is vital. Even in a drought, plants can access it through their roots, we can access it through bores, and it discharges to the surface into rivers and springs. During mining, groundwater is pumped out to keep conditions dry, forcing groundwater to flow towards the mine from kilometres away, making less available in the landscape. Mining can also cause contamination, as mine waste are carried with the groundwater towards fresh rivers. But groundwater moves extremely slowly. To travel the distance of this hall could take decades. And to get to the car park, groundwater could take a century or even a millennium. This means if a mine's abandoned, as in its closure wasn't planned, we may not see the environmental consequences for decades or more. So how do we plan for them? We need to minimise impacts on the community, like the Banjama and Neapali people, who consider certain Pilbara water bodies spiritually and culturally significant. We need to minimise economic impacts on tourism, agriculture, aquaculture, and other industries that rely on fresh water. Currently in Australia, there are over 50,000 abandoned mines. That's 50,000. Proving that our past methods for closing them aren't working. My PhD helps to solve this problem. I'm developing advanced computational models that simulate groundwater flow in mining environments. My results show that we can predict how a mine will change groundwater thousands of years in advance and some of the implications for rivers and ecosystems. We can use these models to develop monitoring and management strategies that minimise loss of fresh water. We can use these results as a community to decide what today's mining environments are going to look like tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>